Today I need to make as many spoon blanks as possible from this cherry tree. That means a lot of cutting, splitting and axing. I had a nice start in the morning. Hills looked like they were painted. I need to hike up to the tree I found earlier. Time to step off the trail. It's good to unplug from society for a day. It's very peaceful here. And here I am. This is the tree I'll be using. Wild cherry grows long and tall. I better get cracking. I'll be making a lot of cooking spoons, so I need some long straight pieces. And now the exciting part. Let's do some splitting. Always try to follow the natural line of splitting. You're never absolutely certain how it's going to be until you open it. This is looking good. Nice and clean. No knots. I was lucky with this piece. It's split nicely into long, straight pieces, perfect for cooking spoons. Each one is unique and I draw each one freehand. Time to do some axe work. I need to axe out as many spoons as possible. Days are getting very short, so no time to waste. I managed to axe out all the spoon blanks I needed for the next few days of carving well before dark. So I decided to carve one cooking spoon on the spot. It's beautiful to work here, so peaceful, so I'm glad when I get a chance. One cooking spoon, done. Now it just needs to dry and then the finishing cuts and some decoration. I think it should work well. <laughs> 